this is the architect scale. Architects draw buildings and they need to reduce the size of their drawings so that they will fit on a piece of paper. If you're creating a building that is 40 feet long, you're going to have to reduce that quite a bit to get it on a regular piece of paper. And so these scales are what we call reduction scales because they're used to reduce the size of the object, which in this case is a building, so that it will be small enough to fit on our piece of paper. Now there's a variety of different architect scales. This one is says one. That means one inch of length is equal to one foot of real length on the building. And so these markings are the foot markings. Now these, the 20 and the 18 we'll ignore. They go with another scale coming from the other side. So this is one foot, two foot. This is one foot broken down into its inches. There are 12 inches in a foot. And so the longest lines here represent the inches. So this would be one, two, three inches, four, five, six inches, seven, eight, nine inches, 10, 11, 12. And so there's 12 inches in a foot. The long lines represent the inches. Now the little teeny lines in between represent the fourths of an inch and the half of an inch. So on this particular scale, you could be accurate to the nearest fourth of an inch. Now let's look at some other scales. This one says one fourth. That means one fourth of an inch is equal to a foot of real measurement on the building. So on this scale, you'll notice that we only have even numbers on the lines and that means the lines in between those are the odd numbers so this would be one foot two foot three foot four foot and so on and once again this is the foot divided into inches so there's twelve of them one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve just like on the one inch scale but on this scale we could only be accurate to the nearest inch because the markings are so small and so let's go ahead and take a measurement with this scale the first thing we want to do is line up with the nearest foot here's the nearest foot so let's look at our measurement we have three feet but it hangs over past zero so now we count the inches so we got three feet and one inch and it's kind of halfway between one and two but we so we we could call it one and a half inches but three feet one inch should be close enough for what we're doing here let's try one more line okay notice that it falls on even feet how many do we have one two three four five six that is six feet long six feet even now let's try one more scale let's try the three-eighths scale okay so if we're measuring this line at three-eighths notice it falls on the four-foot mark so it's four feet even. Let's try this line. Now if we line up with the nearest foot, we're two feet and one inch. So all of the scales on the architect scale work the same way. They all have feet marks and they all have inch marks one foot divided up into its 12 inch increments. So the measurements that you get with the architect scale are in feet 
and inches. And it doesn't matter which one of the scales you're using, they're all set up the same way. The difference is the bigger scales reduce the object less than the smaller scales. So this is an architect scale. It's easy to tell which scale in your kit is the architect scale because it says right on the face, architect scale, and all of the scales that are on there are architect scales.